Hello guys, and welcome back to some more Deus Ex. So we last left off, we were just walking to my apartment to meet Garrett, David Seraph. Oh, did I get a practice point on that? No. Put that weapon away! Okay, sorry. Hey, Mr. Jensen, what a night, huh? I mean... Okay, let's go in here. Down we go. I need to find more laser sights. I only found one. I may have to buy them, probably. Buy the weapon mods. But that costs credits that I want to use for Praxis kits. Because I need as many Praxis points as I can. Hmm, no guards on this floor. The most important one. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. You have new messages. Apparently, that's not all I have. Make yourself at home, boss. It's a fucking mess out there, Adam. Seen the news? Pikus is telling everyone we're breeding super soldiers. Taggart's at the convention center right now, urging the UN to investigate. Is it true? Of course not. Except for the typhoon, right? And a few of those defense contracts. What? Oh, and let's not forget the fact that Megan's team was kidnapped right before her research went public. How do you explain that one, boss? I wanted people to see that research. Megan was on the brink of something historic. Something that would have catapulted this company to the top of the Fortune 500. Her kidnappers knew it. They knew exactly where her research would take us. And they refused to let anyone else have that much power. I just took it right anyone trip. else? Eliza was right. You do know more than you've told me. I suspect it. But these people? They're like ghosts. Always in the shadows. Always hiding behind lies and proxies. Who are they? A well, name won't mean much. They'll use whatever one suits their interests. Sometimes it's the Masons. Sometimes the Bilderberg Group. They've had a finger in every corporation, organization, or government initiative that's defined modern society. You're talking about... The Illuminati? It's no joke. They're organized and they operate over and above society. The Illuminati? Are you serious? So why would the Illuminati kidnap Megan's team? I already told you. Megan found a way to make augmentation safer for all of us. So we can all become like you. Like me? Like me? Like, like you. You are. More than human. Oh, he didn't say now. Gotta get him back, Adam. Subtitle error. You said Taggart is speaking at the convention center right now? Bitch even sent me an invite. Oh, he didn't even he say son of Sandoval is neck deep in this. Nah, I don't know where Sandoval is. The Taggart will. Adam, we've got to handle this delicately. We don't know Taggart is involved. And we can't afford another punch in the face. I'm trusting you with this one. I'm gonna punch him square in the nose. Right in the nasal bone. Obtain Sandoval's location from Tank. Re establishing security. Ooh. Whoa. See you soon, Mr. Jensen. The hell was the hell was that? Jensen! That little blackmail stunt you pulled cost me my job! Asshole! Stay where you are! Give up! Oh, really? Nice stunt. <laughs> Sorry, Wayne Haas. <laughs> the blackmail of him. I not even actually blackmail you. Let's actually put him in my room. I feel like it. He can sleep there. <laughs> but what if I shoot him while he's down? Does that kill him? I don't know. I don't want to test it. We will be nice. Oh yeah, 
Man, I gotta sell my crap. Oh my god, I have so much crap to sell. Come on, Wayne. Come on, Wayne. Let's go. You can even sleep in my bed. I feel like I've never, I haven't even slept, slept in it yet, man. Come on. Yeah, man. I wonder if he ever wakes up. Here, here, here. Look, I even made the bed for you. Here we go. Here we go. Nice and comfy. <laughs> I wanna be... Oh god, this will be interesting. Some night he had. I wonder what would happen if anything else I did. I wonder. This game has so many things. It's like I wanna try them all now. I just wanna go back in time and be like, just going the right way. But, Looks as if the ball is now Thank God Mr. Seraph sent some of his security here to watch the building. I don't know how it happened. One second it was a peaceful demonstration near the limb clinic. The next. Newspaper. Thousands of angry rioters took to the streets in several cities this evening. Eliza after viewing controversial satellite footage uncovered by Pikes. I hope they brought in enough police to handle the rioters. God. They should call in the National Guard or something. Thank God I made it here before the riots started. Let's go to Detroit. Oh man, am I going to handle all the riots in the streets? I don't have to go to a firefight all over the place. That would suck. I at least want to make it to the gun salesman. To the a lot of cops. Step away from this area, please. Yo, mind your own business, man. You mind your own business, man. The wind is all not faster, tank. Who the hell plans a firebrand speech like that in this city when we all know it's ready to blow? <laughs> hey, running man. We've got some serious police brutality going on here. Whatever that means. Let's be armed and ready. Oh, Get no. back here! Leave me alone, man! That's it! Easy, man! Easy! I saw you throw that firebomb, you little shit! Wasn't me, man! You stay right there until the wagon gets here. <laughs> Owned. Hey, man, I didn't do nothing! Sir, back away. This does not concern you. Okay, fine. Welcome to the Detroit Automated. How can any sane people do this? They're out of control. Okay. Sorry, but we've diverted all the trams. There are no more coming to this station. But how am I supposed to get home? The best thing to do is get outside the downtown area and catch a tram there. But it's dangerous out there. The rioters are breaking windows and looting. Can you at least tell us what lines are operating so we know what station to go to? I'll try to find out for you. Uh, people got owned. They oh no, the break did and stripped me of my purse. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, but they refused to stick around to wait for you guys. They were scared for their safety. Maybe if you had come sooner. I'm sorry, ma'am, but most of the squad has been assigned to subdue the rioters. It seems like all I'm hearing from police these days are sorry. Man, she's trying to help you out, lady. God. The police overreacted. Yeah, as soon as that one happened. Leave us all in that bastard's head. I am here. Oh, yeah, here's the gun guy. I wonder if he's still around. Oh, yeah, he's here. He's definitely here. Oh, he moved your computer. What'll it be? So. Uh. So that. Uh. So that. You know what? Let's sell that one. Revolver ammo, sell that. Tranquilizer dice. 
that MP grenade, MP mine. My template's a little bit. So yeah, I still got a lot of guns. I like all these guns too. Laser targeting oh I can't do that. Shotgun revolver. Shotgun cartridges move up. Damage upgrade. Oh. Ammo capacity upgrade. Target leading system. What the hell is that? Shows where to shoot for successful hit from crossbow track class. Always a play. Actually, I might need to. Yeah, I might. I need to. I should really buy upgrades. It's so useful. What? Jensen, Sarif had me hack the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Tiger will know where he went. You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot, in front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Speaking of which, I also backtraced that breach in our own firewall. The one Sarov opened but forgot to tell us about. The one he was using right before he hired me. Right. Looks like our boss was being chatty with a private detective named Brent Radford. He lives on Earl's Court. In case you want to get chatty with him, too. A side quest. Looks like we gotta do that after I buy a Praxis kit. Will you be purchasing any? Yes. You know, Typhoon ammo, but I don't even have ammunition for it. Like, what the hell? Use kills and oh. Typhoon explosive system augmentate. Oh, it's for an augment. Lol. Always a clip. Lol, lol, lol. Let's see. Launch the maze. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, about that. I don't, I don't have any of those. I don't have that augment. I don't need it. Why would I need it? Just kill them all with a gun. We need the explosive system. Psh. Overrated. Okay, let's see. So I have to go back all the way where I came from. Okay, so where is it? I 
see you. Oh, maybe I should talk to him. Oops. Jensen! Oh, Christ! Brent Radford? In the... flesh. For now. How do you know my name? What happened here? Answers for favors. There's a... a trauma kit I keep. Somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No! No time! The... they could be back. Any minute. Find the kit, quickly. If you want answers. I ain't talking with without some All right. I'll be back. Trauma kit. Oh, that was easy. Did you find the kit? Oh, sweet Jesus. The pain. Morphine. I ain't talking with Without some. Oh my god. I feel like he's gonna die. I ain't talk. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Saraf got spooked that. that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Saraf. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was. Until. Christ, fuck it. It hurts enough just trying to. Breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me, professionals. I think your boss pissed off the wrong people, trying to dig up your dirt. What people? What did you find? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches, they're headed there now. Saraf had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't. You don't know. Your parents, your your real parents. The tests, the fire. What are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak. Why? Okay, Sradford. I put it all. I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley. Behind the bank. Your files are there. But Michelle knows. Michelle knows more. You need to stop. You need to stop them. Fuck you, robot. This this is all your fault. Give me give me another shot. Morphine. Or go fuck yourself. Alright, fine. Focus, Radford. Ah, that hit the spot. I think I could get used this to this so stuff. Mean to me. Hey, I'm feeling a little more talkative. Already. Robot. Michelle. You mentioned someone named Michelle. Who's Michelle? <laughs> Your guardian angel. Who is she? Tell me. Do robots believe... Oh do God. robots even believe in angels? Or did they take that out of you? Did they take that away? You know, your soul. When they built you. <laughs> Tell me. What was it like... When you died, Jensen? I know you're in a lot of pain, and the morphine is... Just find her. Before they do. You... You owe her that much. Why did Seraph stop the investigation? You said he was spooked. What spooked him? You wouldn't... Believe me, even if I told you. <laughs> even I don't. I still don't believe it. You believe in ghosts, Jensen? Seraph was spooked by ghosts. Close enough. Illuminati. <laughs> Conspiracies, theories, it's all bullshit. But you stink of it, Jensen. Enough to have your boss, one of the most powerful men in the world, look away. <clears throat> You're a ghost. A fucking tragedy. Everything you touch, everything that touches you, dies. Well, that makes me feel better about myself. 
Who did this to you? Guys in suits. One of them, David or Daniel, something like that, British accent. He was in charge. Talked about a Mr. Mr. Gray. They were in a, a hurry. Four of them. Not counting the one they left behind. Well armed, disciplined. I, I didn't stand a chance. Maybe that metal corpse you call a body will do better than mine did. What were they looking for? You robot. They wanted my information on you. Someone powerful has their eyes on you and is very interested in your past. Wow. I'm leaving. But I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I... I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when... when the first bullet hit me. The second one. They... they fucking... Pa paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know what a 9 millimeter round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair. Shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen, I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm going to get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Why do you hate augmentation so much? Because it ain't right. You can't, you can't go changing the way things are. You can't replace the real thing with an, an imitation. It ain't right. It ain't natural. It can save your life. No, you lose more than what gets left behind in the chopping block. You should know this by now. I understand. But technology, it's different now. It can help you. You could still live a normal life. A normal life? What would you know about a normal life? Did technology really help you, Jensen? I think... I think it made you a monster. Saraf didn't give you your life back. He just made you better at taking it away from others. I don't think you really want to die, Radford. I think you're just scared. I was scared, too. I didn't ask for any of this, just like you didn't ask for a bullet in the gut. But you can't blame me, or Seraph, or technology for what's happening here. I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for you and your damn past. I never should have taken the job, but I needed the work, the money. Even if I wanted to, I can't afford the fucking augmentation surgery. And I can't... I can't live like a cripple for the rest of my life. Living through adversity is what makes us human. It's not flesh and blood or even bone that defines us. I might be more machine than flesh, but I'm still alive. I'm still human. You got heart for a robot? I'll give you that. Tell you what. I'll play along with this little after-school special you got going on here. I'll get through this, but not, not because of this lovey-dovey bullshit charade. I'll live for the truth, for revenge. Whoever hired those suits, I'm going after those sons of bitches. I don't care how deep this rabbit hole goes. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. And Jensen, I don't know how bad you think your wounds were. But your boss, your friend Sarif, they butchered you. Went too far with the operation. You were an experiment, a test. But he's the one that made you a weapon. <laughs> Almost makes me feel bad for you. Almost. Uh -huh. 
son of a bitch. Richard, I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He's in pretty bad shape. You need to call it in, get an ambulance to his apartment stat. Got it. And Jensen, don't get yourself killed, okay? Oh, Francis. I didn't know you cared. Don't flatter yourself. I care about the security of this company. You getting yourself killed compromises that. So don't be stupid. goes that far. Hacksaw. I am a hacksaw. Let's go 
work, Brent. Keep it up. And I'm just psych evaluation for that swan incident with the augmentation team. I managed to sneak in and look at the full right now. I'll be honest with you, the psyche eval doesn't paint a pretty picture.